In the studio with me is Head of Corporate Affairs at the NIA, Assistant Commissioner of Immigration, Francis Palmdetti. Thanks so much for your time. Okay. Let's first begin with an overview of Accra West. How did the exercise go? I'll say um, Accra West has been good. We, in the midst of the complaints and the challenges we had, we think that the numbers we have uh, registered is good. It's How many? We, we, we have registered um, 609,000 people in Accra West. But we have to look at this in context. Our target, to, our target for Greater Accra is basically um, in the range of 2 million people, okay. 2 million and 39,000 people. That's our target. As we speak, we have registered 1,191,000 people in all. So we are on course. We think that um, once Accra East is tackled, we would have registered the number we are looking at to register within the period. But mind you, apart from after the mass registration exercise, which has to go round to every region, mm. we would set up offices in the districts and in the regional capitals to continue with the registration. So persons who um, were unable to register during the mass mm. registration phase can take advantage of that um, well, opportunity. That would be the aftermath. So 31st March is when we are ending Central Region. Okay. After that, we will then have um, our registration kit set up in the various districts to mm -hmm. register those who are eligible. Okay. So Accra East kick started today. What's the... N not today. We are starting on the 4th, 4th of 4th. June and would end that exercise on the 6th of July. Okay. After we are done, we will move to the Volta and then OT. But in Accra East, we are looking at 17 municipalities. Ayawaso West, Wagon, Ayawaso Central, Ayawaso East and North. Then we talk about Lad Dekutupong. Man, network in issues and some logistical challenges. What are you going to do this time round to ensure that these problems are solved? Um, with respect to some of the issues we had in Accra West, for instance, network, we have always said that we are mindful of the fact that network is not stable everywhere. So we have three strategies. One is instant issuance and then um, in areas where we do not have good network, we do deferred printing. Deferred printing is a situation where we create a print farm. And uh, after we've enrolled people during the day, the record is sent mm -hmm. to the print farm. Cards are printed overnight and brought to the center the following day. And we also have the centralized printing approach, which basically will be dealing with um, persons aged 14 and below. They will be issued with a 2D barcode. And theirs will be printed from a central location and then sent to them. What we are doing now is 15 years and above. So it's instant or deferred printing. So anywhere, whether in Accra or outside Accra, when we have network challenges, we don't have a choice but to refer to a print farm situation. And that is why we have quite a number of cards printed yeah. and um, we do not have people to pick them up yet. So we plan setting up collection points within the Accra West area. So persons within Accra West who have registered and their cards have been printed, but they haven't picked their cards up. Mm -hmm. In the next few days, we would uh, set up offices in specific locations yeah. within those set municipalities and inform the public. Right. Those whose cards are ready to send them text messages or phone calls to pick up their cards. Thank you very much for your time. I've been speaking to Francis Bamdetti. He is the head of corporate affairs at the NIA.